Hi, and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Today, we're going to be looking at another Lego Batman movie set, the Clayface Splat Attack. This set has some really nice box art. Obviously, the main attraction to the set is the Clayface figure, and it does a great job of selling the piece to you. I took one look at this box, and I knew I had to have it. Let's take a look inside. This set comes with two minifigures. First up, we have Mayor McCaskill. Now, if you're thinking she looks familiar, that might be because for some reason she is voiced by Mariah Carey. Bit of random casting, as I don't think it's really a spoiler to mention that she never actually sings in the film. They've even included Mariah's trademark mole on the left side of her face. She comes with dual expressions. She has a great brand new big blonde hairdo piece. Some really nice printing on her torso, front and back. And obviously, I've got her standing in this little clay splat build here. She, of course, pops straight out. And you can drop any minifigure you might have in here to create your own scene. Then we have Batman, of course. He comes with almost every set in this theme with little variation. This one actually comes with a different head than the previous Batman minifigs I've had. He has uh, two expressions, the first being this uh, cocky grin, and if I turn his head around, he also has this snarling, teeth-bearing grimace. Let me just pop his cowl back on, so you can see it with his mask on as well. And here's the big fella himself, Clayface. Now the design for this figure reminds me a lot of his look from Batman the Animated Series, and that's no bad thing. They've done a great job of building up his texture with lots of old pieces in this new clay colour. I really like that they've used a lot of clay coloured 2x2 two two circular plates and single studs. If we take a closer look at Clayface's head, it can move right way round until it hits the tops of his arms here. And if I lift it up, you can just see it sits atop a ball joint, so really has a lot of movement in it for you to pose and have him looking in different directions. And if we look at how his mouth is built up on these hinge pieces here, you can experiment and create a bit of variation to his facial expression. Actually, one very quick way to change his expression is to take his eye pieces here. By the way, these are printed. They're not stickers, which is nice because I hate stickers. And you can switch the eyes round so they're on opposite sides. And voila! Suddenly you have a very sad looking clay face. On the insides of his fists, if I turn one round here, you can see he has a rotating stud shooter, like a revolver. He has one of these on each hand. If I load this one up with some clay coloured studs, they do give you a lot of spares. Uh, in case you lose any. And we'll take aim at the mare here. And just by running your thumb over the edge, you can fire some studs off. Now, either one of his forearms can actually be swapped out. They just pop off like that. And you can switch it for this mallet fist, which you can then use to bash Batman on the head, or just help prop Clayface up. Overall, I'm really happy with this set. I mentioned earlier that I just fell in love with the box, and when I actually did get my hands on it, I wasn't disappointed. Clayface is just a great looking figure, and actually a really fun build. I'm very impressed with how much they stuck to the same colour for this set. Some of the other buildable figures, like the old group build that came out before. They can often look like a hodgepodge with so many different coloured pieces, but here they've kept it consistent, even remoulding some existing pieces in this new colour. For the price tag, I would have liked it more if we had three minifigures rather than just two, but Clayface kind of makes up for that. Even though Batman has a different expression to what I've got already, I am so bored of having the same Batman minifig over and over and over. It's so strange to me that they haven't used any of the interesting variants like the ones in the blind packs or polybags. 
I even got this Tartan Batman with a children's activity book, so really, there's no excuse. I'm also a little disappointed that you can't get the open mouth look he has a lot of time in the film itself, but it's still a great looking figure. I love the top heavy, stubby legs design. I know some people have complained about the scale of Clayface, but I think he looks fantastic. He has the size of a big boss fight villain like in Arkham City. Honestly, the price of this set was worth it to me for Clayface alone. Lego have really produced some nice looking sets for this theme, and this is definitely one of my favourites. That's all for now ladies and gents, thanks again for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Laters!